Disclaimer, I am blind and so I cannot see or adjust the picture. So if the video stinks, well, this is what happens when a blind person makes a video. Good morning. Okay, I really don't know what I think of this. Um, I'm using my iPhone 6 that... Uh, I just got to record this vlog, try it out as a vlogging camera, and I'm confident in the sound and quality because it's an iPhone and iPhones tend to do better than, than these things anyway. It's just the way it is. But, uh, I downloaded this Apparently, they've revamped the app since last time I down downloaded iMovie. And I really don't know what I think of this. Instead of just, instead of, instead of being able to hit the camera button, now they've added an extra layer. You've got to hit the insert media button every time you want to add a clip and then you hit the camera button my initial thought about that is okay an extra step meaning it's going to take longer to get clips added or to get clips started well I have a choice I can either get used to this and get to the point where I can do this quickly or I can say forget it I can use this although this is still still only has half the amount of space that this does and this is a lot less full because this I just got and this is you know this has not had a ton of apps on it for ever this has had this I've had for almost a year now it's been accumulating various apps and et cetera, et cetera. Apps are probably the least space consuming things that we have on our iDevices, but this doesn't have all that. So I don't know. I'll just have to factor all of these into my decision. Plus it's very possible that this might import videos faster. Very possible. But anyway, I wish there was a way to default it to the front the front facing camera that might make it easier. Why would I use the back facing camera to vlog? I mean, I know I don't understand how cameras work because I can't see the results, but I would think if the back facing camera was here, my lap is right there. Isn't that what you'd get a good picture of? So now, the phone, the iPhone 6 seems to be working fine, except now I've got a watch that's dead. I don't know if the problem's with the watch or what. I mean, I opened the watch app on the phone, and... It looks paired according to the watch or the phone, but the watch is just not responsive at all. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back to Simply Mac and. Uh, does it ever end? This technology crap. So my assistant, housekeeper, whatever you call her, came over, and I'm gonna have to have her come back Tuesday because we're having this. HUD inspection thing and that's happening between Wednesday and Friday 
and she was just here, but I know me, and, you know, things just, I just tend to be a messy person, and what was done today isn't going to last all the way till Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I'm going to have to have her come back. Tuesday to actually kind of focus on getting this place good and inspection ready. And as far as unemployment is concerned, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that because I am doing plenty of stuff as far as trying to get ready for a job, but the thing about it is they're requiring five job seeking activities well job seeking activities as those go I've gone beyond five but they say two of them have to be actually either applying for jobs or contacting employers contacting employers somehow you have to do more than I mean attending attending like job placement meetings with voc rehab and looking at four different openings on Craigslist or Indeed or whatever is not enough to satisfy them. You have to do, you have to go to maybe a job placement meeting at least two job postings and two contacts with employers. That's like the bare minimum or work on the resume and I mean whatever whatever um, combination of five or more job activities you want to do but you have to at least two of them have to be contacting employers and I haven't contacted any yet and I'm not sure how to go about go about that because the one that I am thinking the one that I was thinking about contacting there's no way to contact him except call him on the phone and if you know me, you know that if I'm doing uh, inquiries, if I'm going to make inquiries, I do better writing them out and like sending it, say, in an email versus... Calling people and asking over the phone about a job is not something I'm necessarily good at. I mean, listen to me on the vlogs. If that's how I am making a video, I mean, making a video and calling someone on the phone, I know it's not the same thing. But... Um... I know that making a video and making a phone call are two different things, but I get wordy and nervous and, you know, it would be just like me to say the wrong thing and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I need to be able to call people or fill out applications with someone's help or something. And the only job that I really thought I could at least check into, ask for information about, the only form that is on his website clearly is for people who actually want his services not for people i mean it says something on the on the you know there's the form and then underneath it it says something about by submitting this form you give me permission to send you marketing information etc cetera, etc cetera. well i don't want your marketing information i want to know about the possibility of maybe me getting a job where i'm the one who sends the marketing information out to people you know, which is why I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like filling out his online form, which is obviously meant for inquiry about the services that he offers, is the best way to ask about the job. So the only way, the only other way to do it is by calling him, and I'm not saying I'll never do it, but... I don't think I'm going to have the nerve to do it today, and I can't do it at all until Monday, and the, quote, benefits week, unquote, ends 
Saturday at midnight. In other words, I'm going to have to find two other employers that actually allow you to do an online application or do a send an email to them or something. Um, between now and tomorrow at midnight, which uh, I mean, it's either that or why should I bother to apply because, you know, I can't say, based on the fact that I had a job placement meeting with Volk Rehab, registered for work source thing, uh, and looked at like three, four, five different job op opportunities on Indeed.com or Craigslist.com or WebJob.com, whatever, um, based on that, I should get benefits. You know, based on that, maybe I should get benefits. But looking at their rules, they're going to say, well, based on the fact that you didn't actually contact any employers, we're not going to give you benefits. And I don't have a leg to stand on if they do that. And the likelihood that they're going to do that is pretty high, I think. So I'm going to have to find a way to contact people. And I'm not slamming the door shut on this guy, but... I am going to say that it's probably going to be at least next week before I contact him. In the meantime, what do I have going today? I want to eat real quick before the appointment at the apartment manager's office. I've got to do some paperwork. And then I'm going to... It, it ended up... I'm going to be doing this late afternoon, but since the store is open till like 7 o'clock, o'clock or eight o'clock at night I can do this I'm going tonight or late 315 to 345 I believe is my lift window to go to Sprint and take this back because I tried a Sprint to just check it out and see what I thought of it and even though it's good in general there are some you know, spotty places where Verizon holds its own, you know, or Verizon holds up. Verizon holds up, Sprint kind of holds its own, and, you know, I have Verizon, I haven't discontinued Verizon, I'm going to stick with Verizon. I mean, sometimes it's worth paying for better, you know, sometimes more expensive can be worth paying for, even when you're trying to save money. So I called Verizon and I said, "Do I have? Am I getting the best, <clears throat> the best plan for my bucks?" And even that isn't cu isn't cutting a whole lot of money out, but it's better than nothing. And really, a way to cut out a lot of money would be if I was willing to go to Direct TV, get rid of Comcast, and go to Direct TV, and do it with the. Uh, phone company. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that for two reasons. Number one, I live in a place where my ceiling is somebody's floor. You can't put a satellite dish in my... Until you can offer me something that doesn't involve a satellite dish up on the roof, I can't take you up on it. That's number one. Number two, DirecTV you proved to me that you have the accessibility features that Comcast has. Voice guidance, video description. I guess, I guess every place has video description these days. But DirecTV, do you have a thing that reads out loud what's on the screen for people who can't read the screen themselves in print? If you can, maybe, maybe... I'll consider it if you offer that. But you got to prove to me. I got to hear it in action and be convinced, really. Or I got to know someone that has it and and they got to let me play with it. You know, I'm not convinced. I I'm happy with Compact, Comcast. I'm not interested in getting rid of it. So, uh, unfortunately, that's kind of what I'm up against. I'm unfortunately. 
the most expensive is just going to be the best for me. Well, I'm here. For this appointment that I'm supposed to be here for. <sighs> oh my goodness, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. I came in here. I put that folder down somewhere. <sighs> See, if I would have done this right, I would have put it back where it belonged. But obviously I didn't because it belongs here. And it is not here. <sighs> where did I... I walked out of his office with it. <sighs> Maybe I should try, now that they've changed the app, the iMovie app, I should just play with it one of these days and just <sighs> see what it lets you do. Maybe... That might be interesting. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Where in the world did I put that thing? Call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Come on, keypad, where are you? I don't usually sit out here, but... Beyond the wind, which I hope you can hear me through, it's a pretty nice day. And... Why my ride isn't here yet? Well, by the time they answer the phone, it's gonna be way past my window. It's about, ugh. well, I can't tell right now, but see, of course, as soon as my watch stops working right, that's when I really find myself wanting to check it and wanting to check it and wanting to check it. I should have called earlier. It's running late. It's still like seven minutes away. I should have called earlier, but... whole time's been pretty long to get all the dispatch all afternoon. Okay, yeah, I do this. I... Freeze water and then take it out and there's something about the timing that I haven't mastered yet, so I end up with this bottle-shaped block of ice. <laughs> and depending on how long it's been sitting out, hopefully there's something to drink. In that case, there was something. Okay, it arrived. And I'm on my way. Have you ever like dreamed of a better world or a different, a better situation, but known going into it that you would not be the one to make that happen? Like. In my case, I went to 
a training center that that's a whole different video maybe a whole different set of videos or whatever a lot of stories you know a lot of things happened there good and bad but it was a, it was a center where basically learned how to be an independent blind person well this is my problem with that particular organization I feel like they have an idea of what the perfect blind person, the perfect independent blind person is supposed to be. And I, for one, will never be that because of other issues that I have. But now here I am. wishing that there was such a place as like similar to that place but yet a place that I guess is more prepared to kind of meet people where they are and then recognize when they've gone as far as they can go and I guess get them good and confident and kind of self-sufficient based on their limitations and I think this place that I went to kind of did the best they could, but, well, it's not all their fault. I was not in a good situation myself, and I had to be there. For, like, almost a year before I finally got to the point where I... Well, got help with things that they couldn't help me with, but that I had needed help with since long before I even came there, but hadn't had, but that, that, oh man, I'm not going to talk about that right now, but, <sighs> the point is, I'm kind of, looking at where I am right now, I'm thinking, I wish I could do more for myself or come up with ways to make more happen for myself than is like obviously available. Am I making any sense? just kind of musing out loud as I'm on my way to this store to take back this phone that works perfectly fine, but I'm not going to pursue that plan that I tried for 30 days, 30 days, nothing, 5 days, 6 days. They were nice and understanding about the fact that just wasn't quite what I was going to need. Now it's about waiting for 4.13 p.m. 47 minutes for my window to even open to go home. <laughs> what I was talking about was um, yeah, I'm covering this camera up because I don't want people to inadvertently end up in the uh, picture that have no business being in the picture, don't want to be in the picture, don't need to be in the picture. Um, anyway, what I was thinking, the reason why I'm thinking about, you know, wishing I had a, a way to do more, either do more for myself or figure out ways to uh, do whatever is, uh, my shopping buddy I was, sent, I was talking about, the only person that does know about my YouTube 
Um, I had emailed her, well, I'd called her and emailed her and said, hey, you want to go, um, hold that thought. I can't do this with that. Anyway, my friend who is, like, the one person that I've told about my YouTube, um, and she and I went shopping that couple of times. I was like, hey, you want to go out again? And she said, in essence, she said, well, I'd love to, but I'm not going to be able to be out and about a whole lot until it cools off. <sighs> to some extent, I guess everybody has medical issues to deal with when it gets hot. But with some people, I guess the heat affects them differently than others. And apparently she's one of these people that if she gets too hot, she... It, it makes her sick for a while and I mean not life-threatening sick but sick uncomfortable enough sick that she doesn't want to go through it and I can't say I blame her but meanwhile it's like okay. <laughs> again it leaves me thinking I wish I could do more for myself or go out more for myself or do for my do more for myself because I don't know if it's the fact that I don't want to ask for help or I don't feel like anyone is going to help me because it's no one's job and, and you know, or maybe it's a combination of both. Um, I, I don't know. But I know that ambulance is hauling butt right now and I hope whoever... They're hauling butt for is gonna be okay. I bet you're going, Ann, how do you know that was an ambulance? You can't see it. Or can you see it? No, I can't see it. I've said it over and over again. I'm totally blind. But I can. You know, my ears and my hands are kind of my eyes because my eyes don't work. That's how I explained it to a client at the. I was a caregiver before I was the executive assist or the executive um, director's assistant, and that's how I told one of our clients about my blindness. I said my eyes don't work, so I have to feel and listen to everything, because um, my ears and my eyes are my ears and my hands are my eyes, and. Uh, Once you hear these sirens for long enough, you sort of get to where you recognize them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the front, I mean the back facing, because that way you can't necessarily see what's, you know, people's faces and whatever. Well, that's all for the best. So, I'm here, of course, waiting for my ride. I was like, you know, I'm just as well use out of this time. Went to this job. Um, you know, this basically this apply for a job website or find job website. And Reload. this Home. assembly slash receiving positions. Heading level one. Assembly slash receiving positions came up. I'm going that it I mean, you know a job where I was like assembling thing or assembling things or sorting things or doing hands on kind of work is what I'm kind is what I I'm kind of looking for. I have this idea in my mind that they don't that, that the kind of jobs that I would need don't necessarily exist. But I saw this, um, you know, this category. I'm like, let me click on that, <laughs> or let me. I mean, I saw yeah, I saw that. I'm going. Is that like perfect or what? Of course you watch, I'll see a bunch of jobs that may start out sounding good, but then you gotta do this and that and the other thing that I either don't think I could do or don't, uh, 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 this is why finding a job is so hard, but I will look, you know, this is how you end up screwing yourself out of stuff because you figure, well, no doubt, there's going to be nothing that 
I can do. Well, what if there was? What if it was dangling right under your nose and you never looked? Download this app. I don't know if it's voiceover accessible or not, but I won't know unless I try, I suppose. Get the top job search app. Free. Link. Table. Home. Link. Uh, maybe I'll just open App Store. I'll just do it that way. Selected. App Store. App Store. Ex Lines. Explore. Tag. Search. Tag. Selected. Search. Tag. Feature. Search. Search field. Tap S. Sierra. I hate when that happens. Search field. I try to Character. double tap on Search. it and it shows Search. up as it, it it doesn't register as a double tap. Shift. Next keyboard. This is, that's probably what I'm looking for, but... Share. Item list. Indeed job search. Indeed job in Get. Selected. Reviews. Related. Screen Screenshots. Find jobs using Indeed. The most comprehensive search engine for jobs. In a, what's new? Find jobs using Indeed. The most comprehensive search engine for jobs. In a single search, Indeed offers free access to millions of jobs from thousands of company websites and job boards. From search to apply, Indeed's job search app helps you through the entire process of finding a new job. World's number one job search. Join over 180 million job seekers each month that use Indeed. Find jobs in over 60 countries and 20 This video is not search sponsored by Indeed. <laughs> but. <laughs> search. Simple. Fast Find openings in cities near you using Okay, okay, okay. I'm convinced that that's what I'm looking for. Related. All these screenshots. Selected. Four and a half. Get. Button. Install. Um. This video is not sponsored by Indeed, but it was one thing that. Two years ago, when I was, more than two years ago, 2013, like three years ago, when I was looking for my last job and the Commission for the Blind was doing what they could to help me um, based on what that folk rehab counselor could think of to do, um, they taught me about Indeed and now I find myself just going back and back and back to that. So. Please have an accessible app, indeed. I mean, if you don't, I'll just go back to your computer, your website. That's accessible, but... Install. Four yeah, install. install. Come on. Alert. Touch ID. I should probably set the touch ID up for this. If this is going to be my... Um, my, uh... Vlogging camera. Because I find myself going, like, putting my fingers on the touchpad thing, hoping that it'll unlock, and I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I just did a general search for jobs in Portland. <laughs> jobs 1, 20 of 17,651. 17,651. Now, out of all of those, how many of those can I actually do, I wonder, but... And how many of them are close enough that I should even be looking at them, but... When you look at that, it's like, God, how is anyone out of work? There's 17,000... Jobs one. 20 of 17,651. <laughs> that many jobs out there. Talk about a godsend app. <laughs> I have a good 24 hours. 25, 20, 20 hours, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 30, 30 some odd hours to contact two employees, I mean employers. If I just search this app like a fiend, thank you indeed for having such a great app. If I search this app like nothing else matters, maybe I can find my two employees, employers that actually have an email address or something to do online and I can make this happen. I 
I will put it as a possible goal next week to try to contact that gentleman who only seems to have an online forum for people who want his services. But you can't tell me that in this online world, I can't find two people to contact in the next 30 some odd hours. And with this kick butt app, <laughs> thank you God and thank you indeed. I need to wrap up this vlog. I'm home. I need to make some dinner, eat, and then get back into this app. So I think I've discovered two things today. Number one, now that I have what I hope will remain a good iPhone 6, good reliable iPhone 6, I think this is going to end up being my new vlogging camera. Even though it's bigger than an iPod, you know... It's not as big as some of these heavy honking cameras that YouTubers use sometimes. This might just work. That's number one. Number two, I mean, I, I can't be sure of that. I mean, I need to go back and listen to this and make sure it came out as good as I think it probably did. But if it did... That this is probably my next, my new vlogging camera. Number two, you need a job. There's an app for that. I mean, I've always known that. There's an app for everything, but oh my goodness, <laughs> the Indeed app. You know, a shameless pl shameless plug for right now for the Indeed app. Um, so far, I haven't found the right job for me using it, but I've been working with it for about the past half hour or so, and. I mean, seriously, this is, I think this is going to be where it's at. So, thank you for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye. And eventually, so was he, and we got the business done that needed to be done.